right. So today's little setup we got going here. Uh, we're gonna break out a brand new roll of filament in brown, and you'll see why it needs to be brown here in a little while. Because I got something special where we're gonna be printing. Uh, saw this over on uh, what was it? 3D Print Nerds channel and decided I had to have one. Well, not so much me, but uh, my mother-in-law sure loves the little guy. So we're going to print us a Baby Groot flower pot. Uh, and I'm not going to go big for this first one. However, I will probably be going big for the second one because if you can, you might as well do it. All right, so. Sure I'm unspooling this the correct way. Get this all loaded up. Pull that off. I actually plug this printer in that that would definitely expedite the process it angrily beeps at me okay now the easiest way I've found to reload this thing is first find the right size uh, thingy here and screw it we're gonna pull this fan off the side What I'm going to end up doing is reaching in the side here, cutting off that flush. Then you can compress and extract the one. And the other, you can kind of push back down into the nozzle, put a little leftover bit. I'm mean, going to need to warm up the nozzle though. Let's see. So, get a little heat in the nozzle, then it actually makes it where you can manipulate the plastic in the space. I'm not running this stuff enough. There's cobwebs. Spiders. It's spiders. Too many spiders. Okay. So we're warming up fairly quickly. And I'll get, and like, warming up the bed at the same time, so that way I can, uh, just start printing once we get going. I got my time lapse camera ready to rock and roll. Um, and uh, as we wait, okay, we're getting close. Getting closer now. Should be able to push that little bugger down now. Here it goes. Coil up above too. Yep, we're in. Fan the heat sink back on. Really? 
believe it or not, we're almost ready to run. Just got to home the machine and lube it up, make sure everything looks good, and get this uh, print going. Sure there's no high spots. So we're at temp now, I believe. Yep, we're at temp. Time lapse camera on. And we are ready to run. Let's get this going. Let's see, I'll home it real quick. Make sure I didn't, didn't hose anything up. See, and this is where we check stuff. Because that moved on me. Unacceptable. Wedge something underneath it real quick. That looks good. All right, and here we go. Print from SD. And one flower pot coming up. Yeah, I say it's coming up, but it's going to be 11 hours. Give it a little more stick em on the deck here. All right, just got home from uh, work. Looks like we've been we ran for 11 hours nine minutes. And I'll check on our camera here. Is it a little warm? Oh, there's some buttons. Okay. 
Grab that one down. Let's remove them out. Okay. Looks like we got a little bit of a ring defect right up here. Pull that support off. I was really not sure how that support would work based on uh, how it all how it modeled out. And let's get her wrapped up. There we go. All right. Well, there he is, the baby Groot little flower pot. He's just got a little little hole in the back of his head, so you put a couple little flowers right there poking out. Uh, I got a fair bit of cleanup work to do on this one, and then I got to seal the inside. Uh, it looks like we got a pretty good, uh, you know, layer adhesion on the inside here, so that won't be a big deal. Just lay a little something so it doesn't soak into the the PLA at all. But uh, turned out pretty good. And you know, and I might take the time to do a little low lighting inside the uh, uh, all the little crevices, so he has he he pops a lot better. But he really doesn't look bad as is. Um, that's uh, that's it for today. So hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, time lapse and printing of uh, Baby Groot.